Give, let me give you a good story. Uh, Hassan, I met this gorgeous 16 and a half year old in, in, uh, in Jordan. He had a horrific time. They left, uh, he, they left his uh, hometown. Uh, he was doing a, an exam. A bomb came in and he pulled his dead friend out, out, out of the rubble. They made their way, and you know, I don't even want to go in, it'll take too long to go into it. They, they managed to, 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 to get to, uh, to Jordan. I met him after he had been teaching himself English off a mobile phone. He, he taught himself in four months. His, he, the family got separated, his dad was in Germany, he was trying to get there, and between the hours of three and five every day he was teaching himself German off YouTube, off a mobile phone, because he didn't want to be a burden on the German people when he got there. He's 16 and a half years old. I've been Skyping him, he, he just sent me last week, he sent me his visa, he got his visa for Germany, and uh, 48 hours ago he sent me uh, photographs on the window of the plane where he was coming into land, he's safe, he's there with his mum and his brother and, and his whatever. And, uh, one story. Uh, one story. One there story. Are, if we have an opportunity to help, uh, help one of these people, uh, then as a nation we, we can lift our head a little bit higher. Yes. If we turn our back and say, oh God it's awful, but it's not really anything to do with us. It is to do with us. It's about humanity. And the fact that these people wear hijabs and speak Arabic does not take away from their humanity. Thanks for coming.